thought we'd make, make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Safer now it's ownership and bank accounts. The beef with that cake about. Cake Young about. and black on that paper route. Paper they route. never thought we'd make it out. Hey, look. Yo, 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 back again. Like we never left. It's the Richard Hart Podcast. It's the kid Munchie B. And your girl Mariah, the princess of the pod. And uh, let everybody know how you feeling, Mariah, because last last episode, Spider Ass stepped in, and everybody, we didn't want to really refer to the comments on, on YouTube, but that was like, how she get better? I'm like, man, she be having these chronic migraines and blah, blah, blah. is you feeling better because they they concerned about you oh yeah i'm doing much better <laughs> um i'm getting them under under control i've been dealing with migraines since i was six so it's nothing new to me <laughs> but they was concerned like they was ready to come put a pillow under your head i'm like all right damn like, i wish they'd be that concerned about me yeah i've done every treatment possible um i've been on every migraine medicine possible the only thing with migraines is it sets you back a week like from recovery once you're done with it and it messes with your mental health a lot because you don't want to move you don't want to do anything but just lay there and get your energy back but when i say i went through every treatment possible i've had brain scans i've even mris had mris um i've even had this it would be considered botox for migraines to control them i've even had having to take a, a monthly shot and they come and go so um, I got them under control. Stress is not good for me, but I'm I'm doing much better. I look when I was younger, I used to have migraines bad, but I grew out of them. I don't have them as an adult, right? Mm-hmm. Like they they gave me this little uh, like some like you you uh spread up your nostril and it goes straight to your brain. Mm-hmm. I just had some little spread. Like my migraines was bad as a kid, like to the point I had to like like shut off all the lights. It don't mean no light. Like you know what I'm saying? Shit yeah, like that. yeah. I've even had that. <laughs> I'm, when I say I've tried every treatment. Um, I got them under wraps for a minute, but um, sometimes they just come and go as spurts. So I'm hopefully this time, um, I got another neurologist appointment coming up. So hopefully um, they're gone for good soon. They run in my family. My mom gets them. All my sisters get them. Okay. Um, that just, so, so, so that 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 debunk what I was about to say, because you say running your family. Because cause, cause mm-hmm. I, I'm about to say you, you, sh- you let things worry you and stress you too easy. That's yeah. all I'm about to say. <laughs> no, my, my whole family gets them, um, unfortunately. So um, to the point where you can't even eat, you're just vomiting. Like, it's bad. Like, bad, bad. But um, this last week and a half, I've been doing good. So that's a blessing. Thank I, God. You know what I used to chip off of? Because I used to get migraines randomly. But I played football all the way from six years old up on up, banging my head up against people and during, like, practice or football games. I never got a migraine or a headache knocking up against people but then i on a random day i get a headache and then it's just like i have to turn off all the lights and be like it feel better when it's dark mm-hmm. and like the noise like, will feel like something is just like right it feel like ooh. Like, like, like a it feel like a heartbeat in your in your head yeah you know what's helped me too when i feel them coming i'll get you know those new massage guns i'll get uh, the no, no i don't know about them the the massage guns <laughs> uh everyone has them nowadays you just you can rub them on your neck your back i use it on my head to like uh, release the tension i get massages regularly and i get um acupuncture and that helps a lot too uh, you might need them old school not is it uh, uh, the, like you know like the little the dim your lights your shit need to probably be a little dimmer <laughs> no 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 for like in your room like oh my like, room is pitch black it's all my room is all white but pitch black okay okay, okay i even got okay. the dark out so it's, it's it's just it's unfortunate but i'm working through them and hopefully they'll eventually go away um yeah, you gotta stay on top. And I eat healthy. I've, the only thing was a migraine state. You lose weight, your weight fluctuate because you can't eat. You go through periods where you just cannot eat food at all. And I've lost a lot of weight within the last couple of months because they were coming Damn, so Damn, you're already small. Yeah, I'm like 110 right now. I was... Your regular weight, what? One, 125, 130 on the... On, never what? 130, stop lying. I used to be 130. Do we need to one put year. pictures up? One year. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. I was okay, okay. I was okay. Okay. We started Rachel your heart in the middle of last year. You was never 130. Oh, no, no, no. I was, but I was getting migraines really bad at the time. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I was 130 and that was like my favorite weight, but right now I'm, I'm okay, 110. Okay. We talking about Rich at heart time. You probably 115, between 115 and 120. Rich yeah, at heart time. Yeah. Rich at heart time. And now I'm like 110 because they were coming so frequently, but. Um, we're going to get it back. We go, Yeah. We're going to get it back. And I eat, I don't eat bad. So. And you got to do your squats at home yeah <laughs> okay and then, you feel me yeah and then and then and then and then and then and then uh 
Mama Mariah, Mama, Mama Rich at Heart, your mama, she, she get down in the kitchen. You got to knock all that down. Don't leave nothing on the plate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Very true. I, um, what I did all last week was only cooking food that I like to eat because my mom cooks great. Don't get me wrong. And my dad cooks great. But I was eating foods only I like to eat so that I knew I would eat it all. Hold on. Pops cook? Yeah. Oh, that's how you got your mama. Yeah. They both cook really well. Yes. That's how you got your mama. They both cook. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All schedule. Hold on. That's like, okay. Rewind. Mariah Pops, it's his birthday. He on the porch jamming the oldies. <laughs> he having a good time. He bicking it. But guess what? Mama Rich at heart, she in there looking Bexy, just waiting on her, <laughs> waiting on, waiting on him like like a like a snack. Like he was listening to Fire Louis. Desire. I said, Munchie, listen to this. I had to call it because I was so uh, disgusted. Baby, <laughs> oh everything, feel me? And, and, okay, and that's okay. That's because he cook. Yeah. All I, I know the I know how to, I know how to do breakfast. I know how to with bacon, sausage, eggs. Well, that before I got shot. I could do it now, but I choose not to. On, on Inglewood Family, I can't. But I do the basics, like boom, I could do the, you know what I'm saying? Fry some taco shells, you know what I'm saying? I could, but, yeah. but but your pops could cook. Yeah, so they had us both, they had us, all of my sisters in the kitchen early, so we all know how to make homemade everything. So we all know how to cook very well. It's just now that I am a very, very picky eater too. And then my son eats a lot, so uh, I have, like, yeah, I have to hey, look, make separate food Look, for him. if it wasn't, uh like, uh, cause, cause Mariah little sister with me, uh, or you've been working real, I get up on her, cause she's not a cook. You feel me, old? But, but since it's like little sis, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna st I'm gonna, it's, it's stall her out like a parking spot. Be, <laughs> yeah, health is wealth. So, I, that's why I don't drink, smoke, none of that, cause I don't, that's just not for me, and I don't want to trigger a migraine. That's why I'm very strict on what I eat and put in my body. All right, look, check this out. Yes, sir. As of recently in the metaverse streets, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm The latest and the greatest has been the fiasco up at No Jumper where it was a mistake where somebody used the wrong dialect and disrespected somebody hood. Mm hmm Okay. Now I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna make this a thing to say this is gonna be the last time I speak on this subject. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm The last time. Unless not unless if if if, if, when, if and when my boy Hoodie Hood come up here. And he want to speak on it, it's going to come back up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's the last time I'm going to speak on it because we ain't trying to make it a thing because I really don't think it's a thing. But, okay. Now, everybody, I ain't got to do the backstory that, that, you know, DW said a derogatory term for a cigarette that, that disrespects somebody else's hood and everybody making a big deal out of it, right? Mm -hmm. But just watching it from the nosebleeds, what I noticed, all parties involved, right? Mm-hmm. All right, no, 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 all right, all right. Before, before I'm going to say all parties involved, uh, I, 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 want, I want to play this clip. Double A, go ahead. Because the boogeyman spoke, nigga. And y'all scared, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. Me and the homies would have crashed, nigga. Pull up, nigga. On the dead homies. Pull up, nigga. Welcome to the future. Pull up, huh? nigga. On the dead homies. Pull up, nigga. Me and the homies would have crashed. All right, kill it. Hey, look, I'm glad somebody making light of this situation. You know, you know what I mean? Right. Like, make, make, a, make a light of it, though. Oh, everything. But back to what I was saying, what I noticed, well, all parties involved, right? And even people that's chiming in, every, every, everybody that they, 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 everybody involved won't want better for themselves, right? Okay, now, now, Spider not involved, he indirectly involved because he chime in every now and then because he a part of the Crip community. Mm-hmm. I'm going call Spider. He got the low baritone voice. Hello. I hear the baby in the background. I'm like, what up, granddaddy? You know what I'm saying? He got grandkids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Outside of this this, this YouTube shit, this uh, internet shit, meta, metaverse shit, uh, you know what I'm saying? People got... different. DF did different lot different lights, right? Right. Okay. I I I hit I hit uh I done hit Brick Baby. Mm-hmm. Hey Brick Baby, we gonna tap in with you, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get your input on this. 
He like, oh yeah, hit me. Yeah, I didn't answer because you know I had he had a baby in the in the last year. And he expressed that, you know what I'm saying? He had no jumper. That's his job. He don't want to bring certain stuff up to no jumper that he working there. That's his workplace. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He he, he wanna let let him be a podcaster. Let him broadcast and do what he do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then when it comes to Spotty Face, Spotty Face did maybe 12 years or a little less. And and, and, and Spotty Face, he's from 40 Crip, and he's been in jail at the same time as I. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. His original name is H, I'm going to say H Blank Turtle. You know, and the H Blank is a derogatory term towards the Hoover, so I'm not going to say it. We're not, we don't do no disrespect up at, at Richard Hart. Yes, sir. So, due to his name being that, his original name, Spotty Face. You know why? Because it's easier on the ears. And he want to go into a different lane. And he want to be on the internet also. So having a name like that, it won't be receptive. Right. So that show that he won't want to, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to move forward with things. Okay, you got Baby Runner. And then I just learned a couple of days ago because on the Clubhouse app, and people, we was dialoguing. And he said he was in camp and going through juvenile hall and camp around 97. Okay, I'm like, oh, I didn't know he was that much older than me. Mm -hmm. Okay, because 97, I was like six, seven years old. Okay. He he got a book and he got a film he working on. Everybody trying to move forward, bro. Everybody that's in, in, involved, but at the same time, we still feel how we feel because we come from the life that we come from. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. all, all I'm saying, and don't take the, the, the internet and the, 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 the stuff that happened online as serious, bro, and crash out about it. You know what I'm saying? Because... Ain't nobody trying to do life behind some some dumb shit that's on the, on the net that somebody gonna forget about when some new news come along. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's why I took. I ain't gonna say I took it back. That's why I said when I heard the thing uh, with T Real and he had Ingle Weird. You know what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. he said that and when 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 Two Eleven was on there and, and Savi Third. I'm like, yeah, I wish I could have. I would have like reached out like get him. Hey, what you meant by that? Versus doing. You know what I'm saying some content right. on it like. And playing a clip, you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't worth crashing out on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and doing time, crashing out on the internet and then crashing out in real life over something that could have been communicated. And and, and, and these is people, Brick Baby, he been in the county jail at the same time as me. He know, like, you know what I'm saying? He know wh wh where we came from and, and the things I, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he know... He know he know my position in this in this shit. I'm just I'm just doing the internet thing now. It's the same thing is 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 uh Spotty Face. He been in the county jail at the same time as me. We we know what each other do, but we want better for ourselves. We trying to you know what I'm saying. We we trying to grow right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. And then I would think the internet's supposed to be a safe space, but I the the internet starting to seem like the uh, what you call the PC yard where people would talk talk tough. And and they, they it ain't no repercussions, so they feel safe doing it. But you gotta ignore people like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I ain't gonna say his name. That that's the king of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just let, you know what I'm saying. But I I just want to put that out there. And I'm whoever put that together, shout out him. That we gonna crash on the day. Like made light of it. You know what I'm saying? Cause cause it ain't supposed to be this series on the internet. I you know and I um. I think that they just pushed Brick Baby to the limit because he's been getting hit from so different, so many different angles from an outside looking in. And I see him trying to grow and become successful in this industry and who knows what other doors are open for him. And he keeps getting hit with the hood stuff and other things. But that is his workplace. And I see that he is trying. And for uh, DW as well, I feel like he handled himself well too. He was very calm, like... But it's always going to be, you know, outsiders that may not have so much going for themselves, that don't have as much to lose. So they don't understand what's going on, behind, like, you know, in the podcasting world. Like, this is how this man is feeding his kids, you know, right. on, on both parties. So if I crash out and if I do something crazy, how am I supposed to feed my kids? And that's what people want to see. So it's easier said than done. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. But how, how long are you supposed to ignore something before you finally get upset? And he visibly was upset. And that was... I, I truly, I don't want to say felt bad because I don't want to make him look like a victim or anything, but I, 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 I felt like it's pain. Like, damn, I'm really trying. And it's like, y'all keep 
pushing me, you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they're making light of the situation. And I hope that this can get resolved where it doesn't get ugly and nasty and over. These men are trying to grow, you know? Okay, Francis. I'm a part. I'm a part of the street TV family, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, he went large on a platform, but he said, "Yeah, not not like that." I I I I love you, Adam, but a lot of that energy, it was really towards him because he didn't want to keep dragging it along for three days. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I believe. I'm a believer that if that was me, it wouldn't have got dragged along on some street TV shit. I would have been in communication with Alex. We would have like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, we ain't trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they they content come first to a lot of these people. Like, that's why my my motto is morals over money. But like, people will uh, trade their friend friends in for some content and some some clicks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to care about this dude. You you bell. Brick baby out of jail. Why did you bail them out? So you could so you can make some content out of them, or you just like dumb saying. So, you know. But and then D W. I forgot to say him. I give D W. a B plus on how he carried everything right. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say the only reason why he don't get an A is because after he carried himself well throughout the whole ordeal, you go on Clubhouse with Wack 100, and then. It get to looking like you playing the fence. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like that's why I would give him a B plus. But other than with the whack 100 shit, like he like that's my boy. I don't want to hear whatever phone call y'all got to X Y and Z. Then I'm like, okay, DW did that right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's that's what I'm gonna say about that. But I just want to touch on that because you know what I'm saying y'all y'all trying to blend the streets with 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 this internet shit and then it's gonna go wrong, bro. You can't you can't be doing that shit like you know because everybody ain't playing. So, so because a lot of the times when we hear them talk, it's on the dead homies, on this hood, on that hood, on my hood. Whoop, whoop. Should that be taken out? Even though these are in these men's vocabulary, but they can have, when you go to the doctors, when you go order a, a drink uh, from Starbucks, when you go order your food, when you're out with your family, you're not using these terms, right? So, so when me and you talk, you're not saying your hood every other sentence so being that they're on podcasting and on no jumper do you think that they should stop using those terms just so when they're on the pot is strictly podcasting and not talking about their hoods because i see a lot of people complain well y'all shouldn't talk about hood politics or y'all shouldn't be saying your hood if you don't want these things to happen so do you think they should just take these type of terms out of their vocabulary when they're podcasting that way these type of to prevent these type of situations from happening and see what happens Okay, I don't want to compare apples and oranges, right? Mm -hmm. But as far as like bloods on on the internet, I'm like really the like the only blood on the internet, and I carry the, the I carry myself the way I carry myself. I, I don't blood every word. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like I, I like the only time you could catch me dissing somebody hood on the on on the internet. Well, it wasn't even an interview. It was on uh 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 Gangland when I was a kid, and my face was blurred out. I was mm -hmm. like 16, 17 on Gangland. And then, you know what I'm saying, my face is blurred out. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't do all that because everybody know what time it is with me. I ain't gotta do that. Mm -hmm. How people, I mean, how they how they feel they wanna do their shit, whatever. You know what I'm saying? People already know how I feel about certain individuals or certain uh sections, so I don't I don't do it. You know what I mean? But as far as Crips, it's a gang of you got you got you got Spider Lug, podcaster, he he a crip. You got A D, crip. You got DW Flame now, Crip. You got uh, uh, Brick Baby, Crip. You got uh, 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 T Real, Hoover Crip. You got uh, Ace Boy Trey, Crip. You got uh, a Pun from, from Community, Crip. Like the, the it's a million Crips that's that's podcasters, but it's not. Uh, it's more that's Bloods that you know what I'm saying. You got uh, G Connect with Bill Blast. Man, everybody don't know Alex Alonzo passed, but he B team. Okay, okay. And then, then, then you, you, you got uh, it, it, it's, well, what's what's the old boy from Bonnie Hunter's name? Uh, BJ Bonnie Hunter BJ. I don't know if he considered a podcaster, but he's on the internet. But I'm talking about consistently. You gonna see me more so for the bloods, and I just consider, I just, I ain't got a blood everywhere. Everybody know what time it is with me, so that's just how I carry myself. Yeah. So not that you have to give advice, but from what I was saying, do you think that would alleviate a lot of drama? Like. 
not having to on the dead homies on on my said I'm not trying to say specifically what they said. No, I don't, I don't think that's gonna alleviate the problems. I think they particularly picking with Brick Baby. Yeah, they do because 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 DW Crip Street every word cuz and cuz is every word. Why they not saying them to, to, to DW? Uh, uh, T real. He say cuz oranges oranges in the oranges in the comment oranges. He from home oranges oranges in the comment. They are not saying nothing. Pun and AD, they cuz all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, the only time you hear some some kickback is with Brick Baby. And he said, all the day I'm on sex out. Um, and they, they they tripping on him for whatever reason. I got a theory, but I ain't going to say because I ain't my place to say. But, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, but why nobody else get that kickback other than Brick Baby? Yeah, they they definitely give him a very hard time. But I think that he's going to make he's he's gonna make it pretty far. Uh um, he gonna make it far if he ignored them. No, he gotta he gotta ignore them fools. That that that's the only way he gonna make it far. True. I just think that it's like I don't want to say that they're bullying him because I'm I'm not saying he's a punk. I'm just saying like they just keep poking at him, poking at him, poking at him, poking at him. At him. You that's know a what good, I'm that's saying? Good. Poking at him is a good one. Y you know, and it's like, dang, how much can this one man take? So, um, you know, I, I do see him making it far. Only the strongest survive, and I feel like eventually he's gonna see that. Man, these just trolls, you know? And a lot of it, it's the people in the comments. A lot of it is people that are fans from Wisconsin, Oklahoma, and the live chats that are uh, making it more harder for him. Plus, you know, L.A., people that are probably not in his position that may want to be in his position. But And that's a, that, that's a key point that a lot of people think. And I, I think at, to, 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 to a degree that that, People want that spot where he at and had no jumper, but you know, I don't want everybody attacking me. But you know, that's just my thought. Well, I don't really care anyway. But, but you know, I, I think that also. But you know what I mean. But the, he just can't respond to everybody that's trolling him either. He just has to. Um, it, it it don't make him scary nothing. It just like. Look where he's at and look where a lot of the people that are coming, getting at him are at. You know, and I don't mean this in no mean way. I'm just saying, like, he's made it to a different level and they want to bring him down. But, 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 I'm going to say the common denominator is everybody want better for themselves. Right. Uh, even, 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 even Spotty Face, he got an original name from Fody Crip and, and he, he don't use that name. As far as when he go on the internet, he called it so Spotty Face because the other name is, it, it's disrespectful to people and it might... It might have him uh, set back, so he don't right. use it. And then you got uh, 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 Baby Runner. Baby Runner do music. He writing scripts. He doing his thing. But you know, sometimes he can't control his 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 his, his energy. And I witnessed that. You know what I'm saying? And you, you you know, and then you know, Granddaddy, my my boy Spider. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, Spider doing drop offs and pickups. Man, he 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 really doing a family thing for real, for real. He might be in a black box, man. And he got the messy jacket also. He got the messy jacket. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I I I I see the the other side of Spider and Brick Baby. Brick Baby, oh yeah, yeah, I had the baby. Just hit me, hit me back in like 15 minutes. I'm gonna be ready. Boom. All right, boom. He, you know what I'm saying? And right. I, I I see the other side though. But man, just let niggas be great, bro. Like niggas be on some other shit, bro. Right. The a lot of these men are very intelligent. They live a real life outside of what you see in the cameras. This may be 20% of their life, but outside of that, they live a real life. They have kids, they have grandkids, they have a real life. So what you see on the internet is not <laughs> their 100% life. And I would like to see these men grow and prosper and do great things. But in the process of them trying to grow, they're being, you know, they're being um, ch uh, challenged and they're being targeted and they're going through all these different obstacles. But that is a part of the journey. And in a couple of years, they look back like, dang, I went through all that, but look at where I came. Look and look how many lives I've changed. Look, at, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Spotter had banged my line, boom, and he had Papa LQ from uh, from from Rolling Sixties on the phone. Introduced, he was like, yeah, good to meet you. He was like, man, I heard your your, your podcast. I've been here. I've been checking you out. He said, you know what I mean? Listening to you on there, like you appear a little bit more human. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So because. Because him being from 60s and I'm being from where I'm from, our hoods is natural rivals. They've been beefing way before I was born, since the uh, early 70s. You know what I'm saying? So I inherited the beef. He like, man, you like, you know, like hearing you, like you, you seem a little bit more human, like more approachable. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to know each other. Well, not know each other because I don't know him. I just met her on the phone. 
And then like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody they 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 come one way because sometimes they gotta be that way. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm from Inglewood family. I'm not about to just uh walk towards a rolling sixty with open arms. Hey, I gotta be on you the have defense. To still be on guard. Yeah. yeah, see what's going on. Like I got the me me, me and Brick Baby got to understand it now. We started off on a rough rough start. We gotta, that's, we gotta, a lot, that's that's growth within itself. But people don't, just like how they see celebrities, they don't think they go to go to uh, the grocery store and buy their own groceries. Just so they see someone like you, they don't think that you are human, and you're. They just think that you're twenty four seven this this tough dude. And this being on rich at heart has um, a lot of people have gotten to see that yes, you are very much so human. You are very much so. Um, you know, you you can have conversations. You're not just this overly tough dude where you can't just speak about other things, you know? Um, so that's why I, I like to see, in a way, I like to see a lot of um, gang members going on these podcasts and showing the, the human side of them, seeing that they all, they do have regular lives. They're not just, they have feelings, they have emotions, you know? So and that, that's, that's an amazing thing. And if people would allow them to grow and, um, you know, and let them let them get to the next step without them trying to crash out. It would make things a lot more smoother and a lot. It'll be a lot more peaceful. That part, that part, that part. And, and uh, you know what, what? What else came to mind? I was like, uh, Mariah Sita, right? <laughs> for those that don't know or can't tell, Mariah, her mom is. Mexican and her dad is black. My right? mom is a hundred percent Hispanic, and people do not believe they think she's a light skinned black lady. I don't know why, but my mom is a hundred percent Hispanic, a hundred percent. And your son dark skin, chocolate baby, my beautiful chocolate baby. You yes. never know that his grandma is 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 his Hispanic. Yes, they think that when they're together, that that is his <laughs> nanny. <laughs> and I'm gonna slide this in her dad B team, but all right, all right all yeah. Right, and my right. daughter's pretty brown too, so she's not as chocolate as my baby, but my, as my son. But yeah, my my daughter's pretty brown. All right, no, because earlier I was thinking about, you know what I'm saying, the black and brown thing, right? Mm -hmm. All right, like how the Hispanics. They then merged into our genre, mm -hmm. rap and hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop and rap, mm -hmm. whatever you want to, whatever direction. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And there's people that I, I got four, I got five, I got four for sure, but five because I don't know if the rest of the world know about the fifth person, right? Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about OGZ. You you up on OGZ? I've seen his name, but I'm not too much aware of who he is. Okay, he's a part of the group Shoreline Mafia, but he... Oh, okay, okay, Shoreline Mafia, I know who that he is. He went solo, he, like, he dope. Okay. Then you got Sad Boy Loco. Do you know who that is? Mm-mm. He on that song, uh, Don't Come to L.A. With, with YG. Oh, and Brick Baby on that song. Now I gotta check it out as soon All as right. we leave. So, so, uh... Sad Boy Loco was signed to 400 at one point. He on that song, Don't Come to LA with YG. And Brick Baby was on that song. That, that's ironic. Okay. Sad Boy Loco, he get off. He do his thing. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy. Okay. Then you got Money Side Sway. Mm -hmm. Long live him. Rest in peace him. Rest he, in love. Rest in love. He lost his life in prison. You know what I'm saying? He get off. He hard. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He do his thing. Okay. Then you got Lefty Gunplay. My dog. <laughs> we, 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 uh, we went over his song, like, well, well, freestyle. He did his thing. Yes. To Eminem beat. You know what I'm saying? And he, he may be pulling up to reach your heart pretty soon. So he may be, he may be. So, and then the last one I want to say, it's a wobbler because he not mainstream like the other four. I said he, he haven't been signed to no mainstream artist or anything, or, but uh, I believe his name is The Face of L.A. I like his music. Mm -hmm. He from Florence Thresh, say he from F-13. You know what I'm saying? He hard. So I threw him in as an honorable mention at the end, but them four is for sure. Mm -hmm. So you being Blexicana, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to know how you feel about Hispanics blending with, you know, uh, a black genre, hip hop, rap and hip hop. I think it's beautiful. I think it's amazing. Um, and this is, um, I grew up where I didn't have to choose, do I want to be black, do I want to be Mexican? Because I was so meshed in, you know? So um, it was the outsiders that didn't understand that, like, you know, 
within gangs, within school, within stuff like that. We were segregated in, in so many ways, but um, I think it's beautiful. You know, like I, I, I'm for humanity, so I don't care what color, size, shape, race you are, but I think it's beautiful. Like, you know, get off. And um, one thing I like about um, some of these newer his, uh, Mexican rappers or Hispanic, whatever, you know, um, they're not they don't have to use the n-word to to rap they just they authentically being themselves and getting off you know and mm -hmm. i think that's beautiful i feel like we all should be able to mesh together and, and get along a lot of the times um like if we think about it even back when tupac dr dre easy e and all that even from the drifters and the oldies music mexicans really listen to a lot of um black artists from the od smoky robinson to now so i think it's beautiful i don't see what you know if if there is an issue i don't see why it should be an issue you know i don't think it's an issue i don't think it's an issue off schedule right mm -hmm. have you ever dated a mexican no 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 hmm no, I haven't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't you from, be. You, 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 you from the harbor area too, though. That's what I'm saying. You got a lot of Hispanics that direction. Yeah. So. I, I've, I've, I haven't, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. But I am like a different breed. I be in the house too much. You got to find me. <laughs> I got to get outside to date more. But I wouldn't be opposed to it though. Like I, I don't see what's wrong with it. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. You got different. You got different levels of uh, Hispanics, right? Right. You got the you got you got the you got the Mexicans that wear the Jordans. They got to get the line up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got the you got the East LA Mexicans. They 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 just around their people, so that's all they know. Right. You got you got the Cholos. They got where they 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 pants to their belly button. Got the bushy mustache. My uncle. <laughs> see her. Uncle. See she a real Me Mexicano. My uncle what? to this day. Yeah. Okay. Like you got levels to that shit. But so I'm guessing like the, the, if if a, if a Mexican did get at you, it'd be one of the Mexicans that's like that's like on some uh, lefty gunplay. Like yeah, it gotta be swagged out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, look, 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 y'all. I might sit the Lefty Gunplay interview out and just let her and Lefty do their thing. You know what I'm saying? Cause they gonna be here. No, 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 no. Cause they are. Cause you already happy saying that. Uh, much your girlfriend, right? She's not my girlfriend. She's a little sis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you really. They attach me to to you all the time. We know what it is. We know the truth. All right. So it'll be like, whatever. All right. She ain't my GF, bro. We, no, we don't know. As, as regular as I talk on here, she wouldn't be able to hold her composure. Right. <laughs> what? I used to say, Tania gave me some good head. She would have been like, what? You feel me? Emotions would have been everywhere. <laughs> and everybody go follow Tania. I can't remember her Instagram, but go follow her. Go find it. It was if she gets some bracken head. <sighs> No, 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 I'm just... We're not promoting that, but yeah, shout out to Tania. You know, she's such a sweetheart. Yeah, she's a good person. She's a sweetheart. With good hair. Oh, my God. But, 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 no, 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 back to the black and brown. So, so, hey, so, so, somebody just sent the, uh, our little look. I sent, uh, let the gun play that, what well, we heard to a girl, like, I don't think he slid. And she sent someone, money, money size sway. I'm like, okay, money size sway got off. He's swaggy. Like, them for our name, for sure, they, they do their thing, bro. Mm -hmm. They do their thing. Mm -hmm. So, so let me ask you this: How do you say it, Mariachi? Mariachi? Mariachi. A black person will never be able to uh, blend into that genre, right? Um, it's been done by a black person. Mm -hmm. You don't know his name. I don't know because I don't listen to Mariachi. So a black person then blended with Mari. Compo Negro. There you go. You remember, girl. You got a good memory. Okay, okay. So, so he. Okay, I gotta. I, after this, I'm gonna tap in. That's that's deep, cause cause I thought I had me a. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I thought I, I I was coming with it, and it, I wasn't. You wasn't gonna be able to think of one. No, that, there, there, there. But even especially right now, there's um this girl that's famous on Instagram. I God, I wish I knew her name. That sings um. Um, like mariachi style music and she's fully black she's not hispanic she's not puerto rican she not nothing she's fully black and she sings um mariachi style music hmm. 
And uh, with a lot of like that that type of music, you know, that's like they really talking stuff. They really talk about some stuff. People that don't understand Spanish, you got to be bilingual. Yeah, but so, they really talk about some real stuff in there. Like it, it, it could be like if I if I knew Spanish, I think I could I could fuck it up. Oh, I, yeah, could, I think sure. I could do my thing if I knew Spanish. For sure, you could learn Spanish. No, I I know I I, I I want to. Yeah, you you could learn Spanish. I'm good. Uh, I know mm, bits and pieces, but see, I grew up with. I have a, a grandmother by um, in law that's Puerto Rican, and then my actual grandmother is Mexican. So there's I grew up with both. So their dialect of Spanish is different. So when I was younger, I would get certain stuff mixed Spanglish. up. Spanglish. It, it's different because Puerto Rican speak Spanish different than um, like a Mexican would. It, the dialect is different. So hmm. it's some words I um, will get it mixed up. Like I don't remember. I don't know. Some words that like like a pinche is a hair clip to my Puerto Rican grandma, but in Spanish that's a bad word, you know. So like certain words I would get get it mixed up. Might have gotten in trouble repeating stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I took Spanish in tenth grade at a horrible school, but the only class I thought was good was my Spanish teacher. I know all my. I know the months. I know the, the the days of the week. I know uh, 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 the colors. I know the feminine from the masculine words. But I forgot it now. You know what I'm saying? Right. But 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 she was a good teacher though, Miss Perito. But I, I forget her name. The school was trash. I went to school in the Crips and the enemies. But the good thing that came out of that, I had that Spanish class. Even though I can't remember like the the the, the colors, the months, the word. I mean the the, the, the weekdays. Uh, the masculine, the feminine, like, but she taught me well though. If you know what I'm saying, if you ain't staying on top of something, you go forget. But she did a good job though. Right, and then um, with learning Spanish and history, they teach you more of like um, Spanish and history. When you learn Spanish in high school, it's more so like the hist, like the history behind it. You 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 go in there thinking you about to just learn Spanish, like. Nah, she didn't. Like, she didn't go to history way. Oh, okay. Because in, in my school, they taught us like the history. I'm like, man, I want to know. Like, I want to get better at this, you know? Because my younger sister, her first language was Spanish. Hmm. My, um, but yeah, you know, you lose that. So, 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 uh, oh, she ESL. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, she ESL. My hey, grandma cause... used to watch her when my if mom I, worked. If her, if her first language was Spanish, she ESL. Nah, it was up until she was like three or four. Like, you know, all her words was completely Spanish. But nah, she's, you, you hear her talk now. You like, uh-huh. Girl, you ain't never spoke a lick of Spanish, but nah. Um, yeah, you lose that, but I definitely, um, I'm going to definitely get back up on my Spanish tip. Now, if you hear my mom talk, she get every word wrong, like in English. I don't know what language my mom speaks. Mm -hmm. I don't know what language my mom be speaking. <laughs> she in the house with y'all. She should, and, 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 and uh, maybe one or two of your sisters, they Mac and Co. They, they, they fuck a Roachie. They be in Inglewood, so they, they. Yeah, but let me, let me just be clear when I say that. My mom sounds like a hispanic woman she don't sound just because she's been with my father forever does not mean she sound like a black woman does not mean she tries to portray it to be a black woman my mom she's she, let me think of a word she'll say like okay i made rasta pasta the other day she got it completely wrong so like, what did she call rasta pasta oh my god something totally off she 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 says, and then instead of saying sandwich, she'd be like, sandwich? Did you make a sandwich? No. And a lot of Hispanics, we answer, we'll ask a question what, what the answer is. Yeah. Oh, you went to the store, yeah? Yeah, that, that's that's how we, that, so when I talk to my mom, that's how we communicate. Yeah, she talks like that. So everything. You went to the store, no? Yeah, but what did she call the Rasta pasta? Oh, my. How's she, how's she? The raging, the raging pasta or something. Oh, she's she way off. Yeah, raging, raging pasta or something. <laughs> she's <laughs> my mom, crazy, but yeah, she's yeah. <laughs> and then my grandparents, their English isn't that well, so you would think I'd be very fluent, but I'm not. I wish. I'm, I'm gonna get on this. So, time. so you know Spanish? I understand. Uh, what percent is like forty percent Spanish? Thirty. Thirty percent. It just oh, yeah. depends on what you're saying to me. Like, I could pick up on words and I'm like, did you say this? Like. Not that well. I was probably a little bit better when I was younger, but not as much now. Hmm. I need to get better, though. That's an important language to learn. Okay. I got a question. Yes, sir. What Kanye do you like better? The today Kanye or the college dropout Kanye? College dropout. I think everybody has said that. Yeah. I think college dropout. 
because the Kanye, like I always find even his music now. I probably like three new songs I like about him, but his like personality wise, it's not because of his political views. It's not because of it's just he is Kanye is in his own dimension of world, and I'll just say that. Okay, now recently Kanye he take claim to 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 start it every genre of music. He said. The style of rap that Future and uh, Future and somebody else do. Who is that? Future and somebody else do auto tune. Hey, he started that. He said Drake Lane. He started that. He said he took credit for everybody Lane. How they do hip hop, except for Lil Boosie. He said I have nothing to do with that. Okay, what about Zap and Roger? Way back in the they've been doing auto tune. What is he talking about? See, but but you know when you were uh. How you say it? Narcissist? Narcissist? You, you know me and your mom pr- mispronounce yes. everything. Yes, Munchie and my mama be. Me, me, <laughs> and, mama, me and mama Richard Hart, we, 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 <laughs> we, we mispronounce everything. Okay, so like uh, he took credit for all genres or all lanes or all styles of hip hop except for Lil Boosie, which is really trying to bash Lil Boosie, you know what I'm saying? There's absolutely no way he... he, he, he Okay, Future, he cannot take credit for it because Future is talking about his life, his struggles, what he goes through, what he... In, you know, it's like, you can't do that. But but I think he said he... he I don't really follow... After uh, College Drop, I don't really follow uh, Kanye, but he said he got an album set, some auto-tone, something, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he has his... Kanye is in his own bracket of music. No one is trying to sound like... Kanye is his own music he's his own person he is his own brain he dresses his own way no i don't think anybody <laughs> kanye is just kanye that's just kanye like and with when it comes to boosie boosie talks that pain music like he's from baton rouge like that's that pain music that's that trap music that everybody used to listen to getting ready to go trap like you can there's no comparison there's like boosie was talking about his baby mama he was talking about Baby mama, baby, baby mama, mama I'm, I'm tired, tired of you. you. <laughs> you play games that a child to do. Like you, yeah. there's, there, there. shout out Boosie. Yeah, Boosie, baby. And I got a song with Perion J. K. Me and Boosie called Red Lambo that's gonna come soon. I need to hurry and put it out, Perion. You know Perion. What I'm yeah, hurry up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, there's. I don't even know when when Kanye goes on his rants, people just gotta ignore him. <laughs> like I wouldn't even pay him no mind, like no disrespect, but I wouldn't even. All right, Kanye, you got it. You right. you got it, Kanye. Whatever. All right, we got we we got a clip. We gonna run real quick, man. Shout out Kanye, man, Mr. Yeezus. Run that shit, double A. I know this music game. I am, but not under Lucian. Mm-hmm. You're saying I didn't invent it. Every style of music of the past twenty years, I created the genre. I created weekend genre, Trav, Drake. You know, every, 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 I'm going to say, with all love, Future and Thug, also because the Auto Tune album, mm-hmm. Ate a Waste. If you think about it, no one think about Not one person who has been very, very outspoken towards Kanye West. If you guys remember last year, Kanye West and Boosie got into it where Kanye West actually dared Boosie to come smack him or shoot him. Boosie did not take too kindly to what Ye said. He said, Not all genres, not every style, not Boosie music. You can't relate to nothing I rap about in your music. Nobody listens to Kanye in the projects or the trenches. I'm going to go ahead and say it. My people do not relate to you. Now, that was Boosie's way of trying to discredit Kanye. I got to say Boosie is definitely wrong. Hood guys and people in the trenches, the streets, they all definitely fuck with Kanye's music. But Kanye did respond back to Boosie yesterday. He told him, I just saw that Wipe Me Down was made in 2007. I take no responsibility for whatever that genre will be called. Now, this is what got Boosie fed up, man. He Are said, the genre of music I make is called... Not to discredit Kanye, but like I said, he's in his own lane. He's, he he has his own genre of music. You cannot say you created the weekend style. The weekend has his own vibe. Future his own vibe. Young Thug his own vibe. Like these people have their own like. I I don't I don't see how he can say he created that. But if he wants to, what I really think is, and I don't mean this in no way. Kanye has some type of disability, and he um what he believes is right. That's <laughs> what I think. And I, I, he, he, he is, um, 
you know, I, I, I do like his music. I do respect his music, but uh, to like, like Boosie said, a lot of people that like, if you about to go, you, you feeling good. You're not going to go bump some Boosie and Webby six twelves and go right out. Like, I, I mean, I'm, you're not going to go like, you would go listen to correct. Boosie, you. You know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you might go bump. So what you going to bump some, you're going to bump some Boosie and Webby when you go sliding out. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? You're not going to go play Kanye West, Jesus walks or something new that he has just created. Like it's a different, it's a different vibe. Okay. So it's fair to say, the old Kanye is more relatable, right or wrong? Right, 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 right. And I still like some of his new stuff, but it's... Uh, the, the, what song that does scare me is on the Donda album when he was like, Guess Who's Going to Jail Tonight. I don't play that song. Huh? He said <laughs> he has, what? He has a song called Guess Who's Going to Jail Tonight. I skipped that song immediately. What is he talking about on there? I don't... Well, guess Who's Going to Jail Tonight. I guess what? I didn't listen to the whole song. All I know is it says, Guess Who's Going to Jail Tonight. And I skipped oh, wow. that song. It's on the Donda album. Guess who's going to jail tonight? Yeah, I skipped that. There's there's like no... I wouldn't bump that if I'm in a bad mood. Because <laughs> guess what? I'm going to push myself to do... That's like manifesting some bad energy. Uh-uh, I ain't listening to that. Guess who's going to jail tonight? That's some bullshit. Yeah. You, <laughs> I think Jay-Z might be on the on there too, if I'm not mistaken. Jay-Z on there? I believe so. Oh, okay. If Jay-Z on there, I'm, I'm, I really don't really rock with Jay-Z music to begin with. If you on a song with Guess Who's Going to Jail Tonight, it depends on how you're coming. Like, are you about to make me do something to go to jail tonight? Like, I'm assuming that's that's where he was going with it. But like he said, in the trenches, you think somebody wants to play that? Guess Who's Going to Jail Tonight. <laughs> you right? <laughs> I'm not listening to that. I'm not putting that in my... I'm not bumping that in my car. I don't even want that energy on me. Hey, man, everybody know that, that, that Kanye's a legend. Yes. But yes. you can't say you created genres... When somebody writes your music, right. like like you know, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Pusha T was it Pusha T? Pusha T from um, he good music, London. right? London. Okay, he he writes your music. Uh, Drake and wrote your so Drake and wrote for you. You can't say you created his 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 genre of music if he wrote for you. You know what I'm saying? That's just being fair, right? Kanye's just a lot to deal with. He just seems like he's a lot to deal with. He's very controlling, very a lot and to I'm deal with. I'm not anti Kanye. Me either. Not at all. But I'm I'm fan of college dropout Kanye. That's all that's all Yeah, I'm, that I'm era of time, yeah, hell yeah. That that he was he was super raw. Like and I again I still listen to some of his current music, but some stuff is just like it may not be appealing to my ears, but that's okay. But boozy write music for the trenches, especially old boozy, and for the people that can relate to the pain and the struggle and stuff like that. I could still bump some old boozy and all that. So, I hold on. They said I never make it run up because I come from the bottom. You know how many hood niggas related to that? What? I love well, he was on. A, he was on. A, he was on. A, uh, on the handlebars of the bike, like. Hey, you know, hey, hey like, but what's what? our anthem? We gon' show the world. Hey, look, that's look, look, look. If we wouldn't get copyright claims, that might be our intro on our outro. Me and Mariah rock yes. with that. We go show the world. Yes, the definition indeed. of real. Hey, oh, everything like my brother. <laughs> the clean version. Gotta fill us. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Everything that, that that's me and Mariah shit right there. Everybody go tap in with that. Uh, both of you always won, and we got we threw you a holly oop though, even though you probably don't need it, but still, you got it though. Nigga. You yes. always won. I would love yeah. to meet Uncle Boost and sit down and have a great conversation. Boosie, boo, nigga, pull up like Huggies, fool. I love me some Uncle Boost. That's like, shoot, I've been listening to him since I was a kid and I'm an adult, and he's still so relevant. He's still so full of life. Like, I love me some Uncle Boost. And he got, and he got the independent grind. He did his movie, he did it independently and put it out. Yeah, and then he got his son Tootie rapping. His daughter Raw Ivy, she raw as hell. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. shout Ivy. out to Uncle Boosie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tootie go hard. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie, I'm lying. I never, I never heard Tootie, but I'ma listen. I'ma listen. But, 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 but the daughter Ivy, Ivy she go bro, hard. She go in. Yeah, and she can freestyle. Ivy hard. Nah, for real. For when real. I start CMT Records, I'm coming for you, Ivy. You gonna sign to me. <laughs> oh, everything CNT records don't say you gonna be hey she like her daddy so I don't know she act just like her daddy <laughs> I'm gonna holler at your pops to get to, to get to you cause you know what I'm saying you'll be popping your shit I can't hear that from a kid but, but I'm, I'm gonna holler at your pops hey what's up you know what I'm saying what's up but baby Ivy you know what I'm saying yeah she, she, she's loaded um that yeah yes. well or you, you said you said so well what's the name of that song with Kanye and Jay Z what, what about jail I think it's just called jail 
I know it's called Guess Who's Going to Jail Tonight. It's okay. on the Donda album. Okay. Speaking on Guess Who's Going to Jail Tonight. Mm-hmm. I was going to call in on, 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 on Flacco, but you know what I'm saying? I guess he's busy. You know what I'm saying? He ended up calling back while we doing our thing right now, but whatever. I'll catch him another time. We all know he pro snitch. He he's he's allowed and proud. He's just, he even said it on multiple platforms that that's what he do. He like, you know what I'm saying? He act like he don't he don't rock with uh game bangers. He don't like game bangers, but he love people like Munchie. He love he love him so much. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. You know what I'm saying? He love my boy Rockstar. Where's below? He love my boy KK. You know what I'm saying? He got Chris and he got God bless he Rockwood that he like and he love. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He called me randomly. I hit him randomly like he like he rock with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When 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 he wanted to interview me, he brought it to Adam. Hey, I want to interview Munchie B. Adam was like, nah. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it. He was like, man, f it. I'm gonna do it anyway. He did it on his own platform. So he don't dislike us like that. Or you could look at it, he trying to, uh, what you call, like... Uh, capitalize? Capitalize off our lifestyle, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? But he can only do what you allow him to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everything. We, are, we already know We already know he he's a Karen. Hey, what's the male, what's the male version of Karen? Kevin. Ah, yeah, Kevin. Whatever it is, we go coin it. Let me see. Not Corey. Could he be Corey? Is Corey, Corey with more- a K? Yeah, you can spell Corey with a K. We go figure it out. He gonna be that. Connor with a K. <laughs> when when me and Mar- Mariah figure it out, that's that's him. You know what I'm saying? So, like he he pro snitch though, and so for anybody that do an interview with him, you sit down with him, you already know just to watch it, watch your uh, watch your tongue with that man. You know what I'm saying? He he, he for the content and uh. And if you're gonna go do an interview, mind you, he's gonna have your tweets, your Instagram, all that pulled up from ten years ago, and it's gonna be in a three-page letter. No, no, no. Yeah, he like during my no jumper interview, he brought up tweets I didn't even remember, and then it was from my old Instagram, not even the Instagram I got. Right, I mean, not the uh, old Twitter. Twitter, not even the Twitter I got right now. You know, I'm like, like I said that, but but I when he said it, I know it came from me because what was said, but I'm like, okay, I didn't remember I tweeted that, but you know it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, Mr. Pro Snitch, uh, we got a, we got, we got a clip. Run, run a clip, double A. Leave me alone. Because what happened was Jose Guapo is a big fan of No Jumper, right? Again, mind you, this nigga used to be a rapper that used to do 20 million views per video. He was the littest thing on the planet in 2016, 2017. Jose Guapo was bigger than Amigos, right? He was that nigga out of Atlanta. He but, was running with them shit, too. Yeah. But, well, they they were running with him. And then they just got bigger than him. Now they, right? That's how you, yeah. But eight years later, now he's a fan of No Jumper, sitting at home watching No Jumper and trying to be a blogger, right, doing 1,000 views per video, right? So that nigga decided that he was going to make a video coming at me, making threats at me and saying, I can't come to Atlanta. I'm banned from Atlanta because I'm speaking on Thug and YFN Lucci. I said, okay, cool, right? Just leave me alone now. He, he made five videos about me. I said, Jose Guapo, leave me alone. So then I started to, to you know, like, bite back, right? I made a, I made a YouTube video saying, Jose Guapo, I'm going to get you locked up within two months, right? I told him. He didn't I, lie. I, 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 I told him, I'm going to get you locked up within two months. Oh, shit. So you got him locked up today? Hey, I don't know who got him locked up. This nigga flop. But all I know is for two right now. Look, he said in two months you're going to be in jail, nigga. And I seen this morning when I woke up. The nigga is that guapo shit getting raided. His trap house got raided. He ran from the police out the back door. Mind you, though. I immediately comment. That's Flacco. I knew it. And mind you, though, that my call to the police that I did make was, yo, these niggas is still talking about doing drugs. And you feel me? Right? You feel me? And selling drugs. trap house. They trap house gets raided. Again, though. So again, so, so, so I don't want to watch right, break, break this bro. down. So you this called the police. And- okay, so when I first seen this, I sent that to you. You remember that the other day? Right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Because I was like, oh, your boy tripping. Whether he he was the exact reason, he put that out there in the in the in the in the, in the metaverse and in the, in the, you know what I'm saying, the atmosphere. You know what mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Now, now when I talk 
when I talk to him again, I'm saying, bro, that ain't cool, bro. But he threatened to snitch that, that, he, that he's loud and proud. He said he was a snitch. And I, he said, you can't kind of let it. Leave people like that alone, bro. Yeah. That, 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 that openly said he's a snitch, bro. Unless you go get up on him and really do something to him. You know what I'm saying? Just leave him alone. Leave mm -hmm. him alone. He he said he's a snitch, bro. Leave, leave, leave that man alone. Is it cool? F no. That's not straight, Flacco. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. If you were in L.A. talking crazy about rappers that's here and you ain't worried about it, why would you talk to somebody, you take somebody out of state that's not even around you serious and report them to the police? That's not straight. Talking about they selling drugs at their trap house or whatever, whatever. He pulled a Charleston White. But but see, I'll, here's might be exactly a Charleston White because I know Charleston White say things, but he ain't really got these people locked up. He got uh, Trap Boy Freddy's. Uh, I don't know if that was really him, though. They claim, uh, they claim these arrests, but I don't know if that's really them, though. True, you know what I'm saying? True, true. Flacco, that ain't straight, bro. Nigga, you my good peoples, bro, but you making it hard for me to still F with you when you doing things like this, Flacco. Stop it, fool. And then Nigga. to brag about it is not cool. I don't even know. What's the name? What's the rapper name? Popo, oh, Popo? Oh, Jose Guapo. Oh, Jose Guapo. What's that he from? He's from Atlanta. He's from a fuck. He, bro, you're in California. It's miles and miles and miles and miles away from you. He take he, You could take that as a hollow threat. He's not even nowhere around you, bro. But you talk crazy about L.A. rappers and feel comfortable. And so, Jose Guapo uh, was booming for real for at one point. So that's pretty messed up. Flacco, man. And, uh, Is this Guapo nigga? Was he was he a uh, 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 Gucci man artist at one point? Possibly. I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to do my research. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Hey, Flacco, bro. This shit ain't straight. You know what I'm saying? You could be all for uh, the right side of the law, as you call it, bro. But you doing this publicly and thinking it's cool, you gotta stop doing that shit, bro. You, you got if you want to keep relationships with me, niggas, with niggas like me, my boy Rockstar, my boy KK. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh you, you co-workers with with, with, with with Brick Baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you can't be publicizing it and thinking it's cool that you get niggas locked up, or you should just went signed up for the academy and been a police, bro. You can't do that, bro. Something on my way here, I seen something about Flacco and Brick Baby getting into it. Um, they, I, did it say they was getting into it, or they, or they was reacting on him, reacting to the Brick Baby? No, it on. was very much so. Flacco had said something that possibly um, offended. Yeah, that could have possibly gotten Brick Baby into just some trouble. So I'm not exactly sure. Um, it's still very fresh. So. Um, yeah, I don't know, Flacco. You got to chill, bro, because I would never want nothing to happen to him. You know, I know he thinks this is just content, but this, these are people's real lives. Hey, right, Flacco, you my boy, bro. I'm going to keep telling you, I can't tell you what to do. I just tell you, just be careful doing it. That's your angle of uh, content you do. I think some shock value shit. You know what I'm saying? And then after a while, it's going to look like you challenging these gangbangers. You saying who busters, who bitches, and... They just rappers, they won't do shit, and they seem like almost you challenging them, and then you go make them want to do something. That ain't safe. I'm going to tell you right here. It says, Big Baby goes off on Poetic Flacco for trying to incriminate him in a M case. So this this just happened um, three hours ago. So um, it's still very fresh. It's still developing. So um, Okay, no, no. Press play. Put it by the mic. All right. We got to play a little bit of it. Hopefully it ain't no, no, no uh, what's that shit called? Cop ass Flacco, cuz. What made your punk ass go post a motherfucking video of me, nigga, do Kyron content of me and Quando Rondo, nigga? On the dead homies with all the shit that I got going on right now. All the shit that you see they going through, cuz. Nigga, supposed to be my partner and running content on some, on some murder shit? Try to put a nigga in the middle of, like, come on, gang. Like, nigga, now when a nigga. Listen, run that content one more time, nigga. Kill Squad gonna be in the streets on your ass. You gonna be the first motherfucking example, nigga. I'm hood. Nigga, I'ma holla at you when I get back to LA, too, nigga. All right, you kill it. Hey, 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 Brick, you tripping. You, you tell him <laughs> to kick back and then you say go put Kill Squad on him, nigga. You tripping. Nigga. Y'all gotta chill. Y'all gotta chill. Y'all gotta chill. Bro. Nigga, that was, nigga, you just, you just. Conflicted everything. You told him not to say that. Then you, say, 
y'all gotta chill because guess what donald trump ain't the president right now and he can't save y'all and give y'all any type of uh leniency oh my god oh, yeah. no, gotta no, no. Chill. i'm gonna get to donald trump after this though right okay other not than, not, I ain't into no politicians either. I was just saying that to be funny. No, no, no. Okay, okay, <laughs> I was gonna make my round. Man, I was gonna make my way around to Donald Trump, right? Uh -huh. Okay. The other day we was on on Clubhouse. Uh -huh. He seemed to think, okay, his thing was, I body y'all, right? He said, Mariah Munchie, Alex Alonzo, Alex Alonzo. That that that's oh oh he the uh of uh, uh, the uh, the gang content. He the king of that. Oh that that's oh yeah. I bodied him. I said no. Okay, we had this uh this, this KKK and in, in, in gang culture debate between me and Mariah versus him, and the, the comments agreed with him on that. I told him we need to run that back. We're gonna beat you up on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, the comments, but he's saying he got the ups on Alex Alonzo when Alex Alonzo was talking uh statistics and data and days and times and about murder rates and all that. You didn't win that, bro. They was agreeing with you on about the KKK and the the, the, the gangs do, that was more detrimental than KKK. And so for some reason, the stupid ass comments, y'all dumb, I don't give a fuck. Y'all dumb, they, they agreed, right? Mm -hmm. But I got my speech together now, we gonna run it back, you know what I'm saying? And then, but, but, and then, and then he say, he wanna holler at, he wanna holler at uh, uh, Alex again about, about the gang topic, but you gotta holler at me and Mariah first before you get to, to to Alex because that's that's what he do. He been doing it for years. He gang expert. He did statistics on this. He uh all this. He he you know what I'm saying. He help people out in cases. You he know you can't you know what I'm saying. So we gonna beat you up with the KKK versus gang culture shit. Me and Mariah first. Mm -hmm. Get through us first, and then you could do your thing with with, with Alex after that. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And. and, and that was the, the the topic the other day on, on Clubhouse. Alex was there. Alex was getting frustrated. I'm like, look at I you. told y'all to stay off that dang site. No, 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 no. It's cool. Like, like we, our shout out, uh, Smut Free TV with Rockstar. And shout out Damu and Keyway Conversations with uh, Yael and, and, and Do Sims. Them the only two two rooms I go to. Other than that, nothing outside of that. It like all that other shit messy. And then I learned from my mistakes. Because that uh, other than the two rooms, that shit is messy. It is built for you to lose. You know what I'm saying? And don't get on there. That's that's that that's that's what I say. Yep. Okay. And then as far as uh, what you just say something about some politics shit? You said. Oh, I said Donald Trump can't save him, but I said, but I don't. I don't okay, get the politics. Okay, Donald Trump, right? Now, I did my history on Donald Trump. Just recently, I'm like, damn. Cause cause I, I was talking to Flacco and he just praised Donald Trump. He Donald uh Flacco is really just an Oreo, bro. <laughs> by definition. Right? So every business that Donald Trump had went bankrupt. Mm hmm Donald Trump University. You had uh you had it, it uh damn, hold on, I've been drinking. Look, 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 look. If I have Mariah pull up all Donald Trump business ventures, they all failed. All of them. Mm -hmm. Like, they, 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 they just don't work out. Okay. Now, I won't, I won't, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to go back and forth with, with, with him as far as Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Okay. He said Donald Trump is just a good person. We talked about, I think it was June 6th, last June 6th, when, when he, uh, inside of the riot where they went up to the Capitol and, and they marched in there and they did what they did. You know what I'm saying? And people was dying. They went to the Capitol. They went in there. They bombarded it. Okay. And, and he was like, I'm going to be right there, right beside you. And then he was somewhere in his office watching that madness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With his fat ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and then, and now he's running for president again. Right? Yep. So, okay, the other day, because all I watch is the news, sports, and that's it. But but if it's a female over the house, we kicking it. We gonna watch some VH1 and watch some little, you know what I'm saying, some little uh, reality shows. Or we'll do some Netflix, you know what I'm saying. 
But really, me, I watch sports and I watch news. So I'm watching CNN. This fool say he's running again. He get elected. Everything's going to be okay. But if he don't, it's going to be a bloodbath. So, so Mariah, what that sound to you? What would that sound like to you? He's about to incite. Uh, he's about to tell his people to to be violent. All that this is about to be madness all over again. All over blood again. Bass, like he just said. Okay. It's it's gonna be murders. It's gonna be the people that don't like the other race. Them they finna be taken. It's gonna be unnecessarily killing. Um, if you don't agree with. Their political views is going to be crazy. And what's stupid is a lot of people, especially of certain religions, don't believe in politicians. And that's not fair for that for them. And they have to suffer. Like, it's unfortunate. You And then I, I even remember someone asked, like, oh, are you going to vote? I said, I don't talk about politics with people. And they said, well, who are you going to vote for? I said, so you're going to... I, they said, I'll vote for the, the lesser of two evils, so whoever's less evil. I'm like, that don't make no damn sense to me. It, they all. I think all politicians are evil and corrupt. So that's just my view on it, and that's just where I stand with it. And I, I, I think that's clear as day. They all corrupt. They all messed up. And I know my history, and I could really go there. Okay, so everybody that's listening, I talked to poetic Flacco. Okay, Flacco. When I'm disappointed in you, this your name. Pathetic Flacco, bro. Okay, you 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 praised you praised uh Trump. You know what I'm saying? You said he wasn't racist. But anybody could pull up 1927 where his dad got arrested at, at a KKK meeting in Queens. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It well, he's that's where he derived from. He he not for us, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what we would call Uncle Tom. Man, he okay. Flacco say things like this. You know how many poor niggas, uh, uh, Adam is saved out the slums. I said who? Cause, cause okay, T. Real he had a house with an elevator in it before he met, uh, Adam. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, 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 Ad he, his his I got the juice. His song was on on uh two uh, K, and getting played at halftime at games before he met him. Mm-hmm. Okay, like, so who I, say names on who you talking about? But I got a clip with, 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 with Donald Trump exposing himself, and here we go. Double A, run that clip, bro. You see what he said. He, you see what he said. It, and then the former president ra- lashed out at migrants, bro. L- listen, bro. Y'all heard it loud and clear, bro. You know what I'm saying? So he's threatening people. <laughs> he already, he already saying if he, me, it's it, gonna be a bloodbath. If he lose, you already know what time it is. Yeah, basically. You know what I'm saying? That is a very violent, sick man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Don't get the tattoos fucked up, bro. I'm tapped in. I know what's going on. Like, I'm not just just gang gang, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm disappointed in like I got homeboys that don't know shit. In reality, but I don't be want to like discredit them like, bro, shut up, bro. You dumb. But like, y'all gotta y'all y'all, y'all gotta uh EDD, PPP shit going during the pandemic. And then That's why a lot of people like y'all, Trump. Y'all pro Trump now, but guess what? Y'all got these chains. And now y'all had to give it back for half of what y'all bought it for. Yep. Okay. Y'all done got these fly ass cars with, with six month warranties. And guess what? They got repo. They broke down. You don't have them no more. Yep. Or y'all done got these designer ass clothes. That's fly as fuck in 2022. And guess what? Y'all wear it over and over again. Yep. I bet you if I go, we go through your Instagram and you go, boom, 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 boom. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. There. Y'all wore the shit over and over. No, 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 no. Over again. You know what I'm saying? Bro, y'all y'all in love with this man because he changed our life for about three months. Y'all stop it, bro. And it's embarrassing to 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 our kind, bro. Like, 
Stop it, my nigga. This reminds me of Django when Samuel L. Jackson was holding on uh, <laughs> to the master. That's what that, that's what a lot of people are giving. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, y'all holding on to the, your savior? Are you fucking kidding me? Y'all must. I not. never watched Django. I got. I, 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 please I'm, watch Django. Okay, that, I'm, I'm, please watch Django. I even went to the actual in Louisiana. I took my kids to both the um, plantations over there. So please, uh, the I, Django one and the one next to the Whitney Plantation. Please I know it's do. bad. I can only watch. I can only watch movies with women. Like, like, I, like, remember you tell me about Mia Copa? Uh huh. I watched Mia Copa with a, like a girl the other night. Like, I enjoyed it. Everybody go check out Mia Copa on Netflix. Okay, so it didn't make you mad at the at one part. Not the part that made you mad. That was disgusting. It, I mean, it was, it, it 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 was, but she was in she 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 was like enraged at the time like what she found out you know what yeah I'm true that and i didn't like the ending it was like okay so what the f it is like tyler perry was like at the end like all right no no no, no 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 it made room for me a couple too i hope so no 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 it made room for me a couple too like you know what i'm saying if they ain't watch it they like he go try to go back and get in contact with her she a lawyer now she probably gonna be get, become a da at this point i hope so tp like, i hope it's a part two come on tyler perry hey 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 for the record before we get up out of here I love all the Tyler Perry movies. Me too. Uh, Good Deeds. Uh, Why did I get married? Uh, Mia Copa. Uh, I like all the. I love all the Medea movies that don't have a dress in it. Like the dress is like you. It's comical. It's gimmicky. Like you can't really take it serious. But like, but but Tyler Perry really got a pen game mm -hmm. and he do put put together some real ish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's very relatable. Very relatable to what we deal with. You know, these are these stories are relatable. What people are going through. I talked to Hong Girl because he, he's saving money because all the actors in his TV shows come right out of his church. Yep. So whatever church he a part of, I said I was gonna fly into Atlanta. I was gonna go be a guest, guest like you feel me? Go visit the church. I was gonna get there and give him my testimony. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> and get his attention. Hey, hey, shout out Tyler Perry. I need a job, B team, because I because he about to he about to uh. He got the biggest, uh, what that shit called in Atlanta? The biggest uh, uh, production, biggest, the studio. Uh, I've stu seen it before. Biggest studio, yeah, he in, does. In America, in Atlanta, but he about to build one in, in, in LA now. It's you know okay because we we our book is in progress and we might be able to make a movie out of that because they don't even know what's finna come to them. They thinking it's one way and it's gonna be a whole nother way. No, no, no. No, we not even gonna talk about it no more since we're yep. different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Since the last time we talked about it on well, everything. But hey, Tyler Perry, yeah, Munchie B, Mariah Hayes. You uh you need some consultants, some some, some you need some dialogues uh, cause uh some LA actors is gonna act like some game bangers. I'm gonna give them the, the the dialogue, how we talk, how we walk. Tap in with me, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, tap, tap in, don't tap out. And, and, and she a black Chicana, you know what I'm saying? And her mama, masculine, sexy, sexy masculine, sexy. <laughs> then you know her her her, her dad, black, gangster, <laughs> beat dog. Right? And okay. then. Um, and I, I you know what I mean. So, hey, everybody, uh, you know what I'm saying. So, I want y'all to uh, tap in or tap out, bro. You know what I'm saying. It's the Rich at Heart podcast. You can check us out on uh, what is it? iHeart, Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts. Give us a five star rating and make sure for the visuals you go to Street TV, Street Gangs. Check us out. We drop a video every Thursday and then they randomly pop up on the weekends. All right, give us your, give, give us your, give us your handles, even though they already know. My YouTube is Mariah Sharice. I'm less than 200 followers away um, to monetize off of my YouTube. That way I can start dropping two week videos a week. Go ahead, Munch. All right, man. I got Instagram thread, uh, 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 Instagram thread. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Instagram thread. What's the what's the whatever? Instagram or uh, Instagram thread, Twitter. That's mb underscore the mayor. That's mb underscore tha mayor. And then I just made a TikTok last night. That's mb underscore rich at heart. mb underscore rich at heart on TikTok. Everybody follow up. It's the Rich at Heart podcast. Tap in on tap out. B team Inglewood. I never thought we'd make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route Now it's ownership and bank accounts But it's the beef what they cake about Young and black on that paper route They never thought we'd make it out Never thought we'd make it out Cause we didn't take the safer route Now it's ownership and bank accounts But it's the beef what they